So today I talk about a P0430 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0430 code? Well, it's a catalyst system efficiency below threshold pink two. And what does this mean? Well, there's sensors and they're located on the exhaust and they're doing a few things. And one of the things they're doing is they're monitoring the catalytic converter and they're seeing that the catalytic converter is falling below a 95% efficiency. And so it's reporting this back to the onboard computer. And so basically the onboard computer is seeing a problem with the catalytic converter and it's gonna have to be troubleshooted, know why. And so possible causes, well, could be an exhaust leak, could be a bad sensor, could be a bad catalytic converter. And it's possible that there could be an engine problem that's throwing the sensors off. But usually when that happens, you're going to get other codes. So if you are getting other codes, like a misfire code or something like that, then be sure to pay attention to that. And V6 or V8 engines have two banks. Bank one is always going to be the side of the engine with the number one cylinder. So if you find the number one cylinder, that'll be bank one. And then the opposite of that is going to be bank two. And bank two is the side of the engine the onboard computer seeing a problem with. And so the first thing to do when you get this code is go look for any exhaust leaks or any holes in the exhaust or damage or anything like that because if there's any exhaust leaks then air is going to get into the exhaust and it can throw these sensors off so go and examine it be sure to examine around the flanges and things like this where it bolts together there's gaskets inside of here where it bolts together like on the manifold and different spots and if those gaskets go bad or blow out or anything like that then it can cause a leak so go and examine those be sure there's no exhaust leaks and so if you go through and you check out the exhaust there's no leaks going on there's no engine problems like no misfire codes or anything like that then the next thing to check is to see if the catalytic converters failed or if one of these o2 sensors have failed there's some different methods you can use to test those o2 sensors i made a video on that i'll put a link down below if you want to check that out one thing to keep in mind is be sure to check out that wiring going to the o2 sensors because if anything happened to the wiring it got damaged like an open short anything like this it'll cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor so be sure to check out that wiring and like i said if you want to test those o2 sensors i'll put a link down in the description below for how you could do that there's also some different methods for how you could test out the catalytic converter a very common symptom when you get a bad catalytic converter is that they become clogged up. And when that happens, the, the engine's not going to have as much power as it once did. So when you go to step on the gas, it bogs down. It doesn't take off very well. And it just doesn't run as well as it used to. And so a lot of times what a mechanic will do, if, if they think that the catalytic converter is clogged up, is that they'll bust loose these bolts like right before the catalytic converter. They'll let this open up like a quarter inch or so, and they'll just drive the vehicle around the block and see if it's got more power. If it's got more power, then that catalytic converter is clogged up. Because if it is clogged up, then the engine's going to have to work harder to push the exhaust out the tailpipe. Another method is to use a low-cost temperature gun and measure the heat before it goes into the catalytic converter and measure the heat after a catalytic converter. And a catalytic converter that's working properly should be hotter after catalytic converter. But if it's hotter before the catalytic converter, then it means it's clogged up. And since it's clogged up, it's getting really hot before the catalytic converter instead of after. So that's another method you could use. Again, there's many different methods you could go about using to, to test these. But the next thing to do is to test those O2 sensors. Be sure they're good. Test the O2 sensor wiring. Be sure it's good. And test that catalytic converter to see which component is failing. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give an overview of how you go about fixing an engine with the P0430 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.